Hello. Here's a little bit more from Swami Rama on knowing yourself. This would be in the series we're doing, part three. You need not become or attain God, and even if you could become God, you'd be sorry, because if that happened, you would no longer be understood by anybody. Strive instead for one goal, and that is to understand yourself. Know how to know the self. If you do not know yourself, and you are trying to know God, it is not possible to do so. Sometimes people just shut out all these ideas of knowing themselves. They throw them away and instead have blind faith in God. But if you do this, your faith will waver because it is, because it is not reasoned faith and it has not been assimilated by the mind. Your mind will always come in between you and faith. Such faith will not fully develop because your mind will not allow you to maintain it. As a child, I was very close to my master, so I had a special privilege. I was very possessive of him, and he was very loving to all, but he had a special love for me. One day I got angry with him and I said, After all these years you still have not shown me God. All these great swamis come to you to learn and they go away happily, saying that they have attained something. But I have not attained anything. I don't want to be a hypocrite anymore. You show me God or I will leave you in the morning. Rat. When I said that to him, then he said, Tomorrow morning I will show you God. I was so excited that I could not sleep that whole night. I couldn't eat my supper. I was. I said to myself, He doesn't lie, and if he said he'd do it, then it's the truth. I asked him, Can you tell me one thing? Why didn't you show me God 17 years ago? Why are you doing it now after all these years? He replied, You never asked to see God before, and today you asked me, so I will definitely show you God in the morning. I could barely sleep at all the whole night. I was so restless. I said, O oh Lord, let the sun rise and shine so that this morning I can go to my master and he can show me God. When the morning came, I woke. In those days, I took my bath early in the morning in the cold Ganges water, even in the winter. But that day, I didn't feel anything. I took my bath and went to stand in front of him excited, emotional, and completely wrecked and disorganized in my mind. That morning I was extraordinarily devoted to him. I prostrated and bowed to him. When you live with somebody, you don't observe such formalities every day. Usually I'd say simply, Good morning, sir. But I was there all the time, but that day I brought him some wildflowers and he gave me a look and said, What is this abnormal behavior? I said, You are going to show me God. He said, That is why you are doing all these rituals? Okay, son, sit down. First, tell me what type of God you want to see. I said, Type of God? I never thought about that question. Are there types of God? He said, not really, but you must have your own. However you conceive God in your mind, whatever the picture you have in your mind about God, I will show you God according to that concept. I said, but I have not yet formed any concept of God. I said, but I have not yet. 
Most of us create a limited concept of God and Guru, and later on we find that both are actually different than what we conceived. In my case, for 17 years, I had had a notion of God which crumbled in five minutes' time. My master said, Shall I show you God as it is, or do you want to see God the way you want to see him? If I show you God as it is, you will not believe it because the picture in your mind is different. And if I show you God the way you think it is, that image is already there. As you go on increasing your understanding of yourself, you will find that your necessities have changed. Today, you think you need to have a good As you go on increasing your understanding of yourself, you will find that your necessities have changed. Today, you think you need to have a good home, but after you increase your understanding, your needs change. Now you think you need a good car, or a woman, or a good man, but that changes. Your necessities change in the process of evolution as you go on changing. Your concepts will also change. Don't hanker after God. Know about yourself first. You are fully equipped to know yourself. You have all the means and tools to do so. You do not have to run around for this. You cannot honestly say, I am not capable of knowing myself. I don't know how well that internet has worked for us tonight, but we'll stop there and, and try again tomorrow and see what happens. Thank you for joining in. I hope this worked well. And remember, all of this, including all the silliness, is all about Om. Om Tat Sat. Om. That alone is reality. Om Tat Sat. Bye-bye.